Good morning, class. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the topic of spring and neap tides. Now, what you see here, we've got a couple definitions that we're going to try to um, visualize. The first one is the idea of a tidal period uh, and a tidal day and a tidal range. So again, tidal period is the amount of time that it takes to go one complete rotation um, around Earth back to the moon itself. Now, as you can see, there's a low tide, and then there's a high tide, and then there's a low tide, and then there's another high tide. So most places across our planet have four tides per day. They call that a semi-diurnal tide. And because the moon is moving while Earth is spinning, it takes a little bit of extra time to catch up to it. So a tidal day or a lunar day, either one, uh, is 24 hours and 50 minutes. So basically, if you're looking to when it's going to be the high tide, it's going to be 50 minutes later the next day or 25 minutes later if you're dealing with sort of a half of a day. So that's tidal period uh, and tidal day. Now, if you watch the low tide and the high tide go up and down, Range is just a simple subtraction. You take the high tide, for example, let's say it's five, and the low tide, for example, is one. Then you would have five minus one, you would have a range of that day of four feet. And that's some of the key things that you'll take a look at. Now, we're gonna take a look at um, an example called spring in neap tides and the word spring again you can just think about it it's it's like a jumping it's an acceleration it's bigger uh neap is the opposite uh, which basically means to contract and so let's take a look at how this could happen as we go all the way around from one phase of the moon to another phase of the moon Again, we have a little animation and we're just gonna let the animation play and I'm gonna sort of talk through it. The first thing I'm gonna talk through is the change in the moon's position. And each of those positions is actually given a term. And um, so when we get back to right when the moon is in front of the sun, you can't see it because the sun's there. That's called a neap tide, or that's called a new moon. Now, as it goes about seven days to the current position where it is now, this is considered a first quarter moon. Again, seven days later, now it's directly behind Earth, so we see it as a full moon. And then it goes back to seeing half of it, but the other side, that's called a third quarter moon. This time as we watch it go around, I want you to notice uh, the bulges. The first one here, this little yellow bulge, uh, is formed by the sun. So there's a little bit of water being pulled by the gravity of the sun towards the sun. There also is a little bulge of water on the backside, um, which is a resultant uh, force, and it too creates a little bit of a bulge on the opposite side. Now, by far the biggest bulge here is gonna follow the moon. And it always is there. There's a bulge on the side facing the moon, and there's a bulge on the opposite side of the moon. So now when these align together with the sun, this is called a spring tide. So new moon and full moon, both are spring tides. So spring tide happens, two times a month. And again, it's when you have a higher range, which means that the high tide is higher and the low tide is lower. Now those gravities pull in opposite directions on a neap tide. So again, as you watch it go around, a neap tide is a first quarter moon or a third quarter moon. And it's gonna have a lower high tide uh, and a lower low tide. So let's take a look at a diagram and see if we can't see where a high, uh, well, spring and neap tides are based on the high and the low tides. So can you pick out, looking at this very sort of full Santa Ana River data, when would be a spring tide and when would be a neap tide? So again, a spring tide is where you have a higher high and a lower low, and a neap tide is where you have a moderated sort of squeezed in. Let me show you the answer. So we've got a high, high tide and a low, low tide. So this is considered a spring tide. And then we've got it condensing. So neap tide, spring tide, neap tide, spring tide, neap tide, spring tide, neap tide. Take a look at uh, NOAA.gov uh, and uh, take a look at their tide data and try to find some of these graphs for yourself.
All right. Have a great day.